Hi, I'm Dr. Brown, I'm a board certified dermatologist, and today we're gonna to talk about teen skincare. Do you really need the eight step skincare with all the active ingredients in it? Believe it or not, your skin really just needs three things. You need a cleanser that you like, SPF that will protect you in the morning, and a moisturizer at nighttime to hydrate your skin. I know skincare has become incredibly popular, and some brands even target teens with pretty colors, different packages, and things like that. Today we're gonna to talk about teen skincare. By teens, I mean 10 to 20. So if this sounds like something you're interested in, give this video a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to the channel so you can get more videos like this one. If you're a teenager or a parent, listen up. What ingredients do you really need and what are some of the ingredients that you definitely need to avoid, especially if you're a teen with no skincare concerns, no acne? Yes, you can cause damage and some of it can become permanent if you don't watch what you're using. Let's start with the ingredients you should definitely avoid. Things like AHAs, those are things like lactic, mandelic, and glycolic acid, and then BHA is the salicylic acid. Now, if you suffer from acne, cleanser with BHA or something like that, sure. But AHAs are anti-aging ingredients. Your skin is very delicate. AHAs can irritate the top layer of the skin, so please avoid all AHAs. Now, retinols are targeted to aging. You don't need a retinol if you're a teen. Now that we've got off the table things you should avoid, let's talk about what you really, really need. First of all, you gotta wash your face. You definitely should wash your face in the evening. Morning's optional. If your skin is normal or dry or sensitive, you don't have to wash in the morning. You can just splash water, you can use hydrating cleanser or even micellar water. Now in the evening when you're washing your face, you can single cleanse, you can double cleanse. If you're somebody who enjoys double cleansing, I recommend balm cleanser or an oil cleanser first, followed by a regular cleanser. If your skin is really dry, you want cleanser that will clean your skin, but also hydrates. Foaming cleansers will do a little bit better job for oily skin and they won't cause irritation or dryness. Next step is moisturizer. Plain CeraVe, Cetaphil moisturizer are so easy. Buying 10 things or having a moisturizer for face and then for your body is kind of wasting your time and money at this point. The next thing you need to be doing is SPF every single morning. SPF should be at least 30 and it should say broad spectrum. If your sunscreen says broad spectrum, it is going to cover you again both UVA and UVB. There's so many daily facial moisturizing sunscreens that come with SPF 30. They're really lightweight, easy to apply. CeraVe AM, super easy to find, super affordable, lightweight. The most important thing with sunscreen is that you like the way it feels so that you're going to use it every day. Now, one thing I want you to remember at this age, if you can, as a teen, start doing your skincare routine, treating your whole face and neck as an area, not just here, you will thank yourself when you're my age. In summary, an average teen needs to wash their face in the evening, apply moisturizer in the evening, and SPF in the morning. Now, if you're a teen who suffers from acne, here's a really good routine. If you wear a lot of makeup, use regular cleanser first, then an active cleanser. The examples of active cleansers are cleansers that contain salicylic acid, and benzoyl peroxide. If your skin is really dry, benzoyl peroxide is probably gonna be your best bet because salicylic acid can be dry. So I suggest starting with the benzoyl peroxide containing cleanser, pick something with a lower percentage, and then when you wash your face, make sure you really leave it on for about 20 to 30 seconds before rinsing. You can also apply it to your face as a mask, leave it on for a couple of minutes, and then hop in a shower and rinse it off. Pro tip with benzoyl peroxide, make sure you rinse it really well so it doesn't bleach out your towels. Now, the most important ingredient over the counter that you can get to treat your acne is a Depalene gel. The way you want to use this is a bedtime after you wash your face, take a pea size amount, spread it into like four dots or more, and then connect the dots so it covers your entire face, making sure that you don't get too close to the eyes or the corners of the nose because those are very sensitive air and you don't want to irritate that skin. It's important to treat your whole face because it definitely works by peeling off that top layer of the skin, so it's going to open up the pores and blackheads and whiteheads. If you treat your entire face, you're not only treating the acne that you have now, you're also preventing new ones from coming on. So always treat your entire face. And if you really want to just spot treat one, this is how you're going to do that. At bedtime, you're going to wash your face and then you're going to get a pimple patch. I like the Neutrogena ones. They're just hydrocolloid. They don't have any active ingredients. Put a pimple patch on clean skin and then do your adapalene gel on your entire face. The pimple patch will help draw out the inflammation. So when you wake up in the morning, the pimple will not be nearly as red and the swelling should go down some. One thing I would recommend is applying a moisturizer on top of adapalene gel because it can be drying. So moisturizing on top will help combat some of the dryness. So you minimize the irritation while seeing the benefits. It takes three months to see 60 to 80 percent improvement from any topical acne medication that you start. So consistency is the key. Don't give up. 
Now, if you've used your benzoyl peroxide cleanser and your Daplane gel and pimple patches and it's been two to three months and your acne is not getting better, make sure to talk to your parent or guardian and see if you can get in to see a dermatologist. There's a lot we can do, especially when you start early on to make sure you don't end up with scarring later on as an adult. So there you have it, your complete skincare routine. If you have any questions about this routine, please comment below, I'm happy to answer those. If there's any other topics that you wanna discuss, let me know below. I would love to hear what it is that you wanna see. And if you like these videos and you want something a little bit shorter, I also have an Instagram and a TikTok account at Dr. Alexandra Brown, and that's Dr. A-L-E-K-S, no X. Thanks for watching. Bye guys.